Greetings, Edwin, and welcome to this week's Halftime Show. Now, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, this video is all about giving you some much-needed relationship advice. Now, last week, your good friend, Durf, came to me with this brilliant idea, and I simply couldn't turn it down. Now, everybody knows in this channel right now that you're scared of commitment. Uh, you're scared to commit to Devin. You're scared to put the ring on the finger. You're scared to ask to be in my life forever. And that's okay. But, but we're going to help you. So anyways, this is where Durf comes in. He mentioned to me that we should get you some advice on proposing. Maybe get you, uh, you know, a little marriage advice. And who better to give you that marriage advice than someone who has been through four marriages? That's right. Four marriages. This chick is basically a pro at marriage. So this is the best unfiltered advice you're going to get on the internet. So I called up my good friend Kelly. Uh, she's recently appeared on a show called Milf Manor. Uh, you might have not known that me and her are friends, but we go way back, man. Me and Kelly go way back. I'm actually great friends with her. So I called her up and I kind of explained the situation. You know, these people have been together for eight years. He's scared to commit. He's scared to ask the question. Um, and he just needs, he needs some much needed advice. So, Devin, if you are watching this right now, now is the time to thank me and Durf because we did this for you. You know, without, without me and Durf, he might never commit. But now he's got this brilliant advice and he can commit. So with all that being said, put on those listening ears, Edwin, because this advice is for you and you only. Once again, this is from me and Durf's heart to your heart. Enjoy. Hey, Edwin. It's Kelly from Milk Manor. I heard through your friend Posse that you are about to get engaged to your girlfriend and I'm so excited for you. I mean, you've been together eight years, so it's more than likely she's going to say yes or she would have said no a long time ago. So you don't have to worry about that, but I think you should do something very romantic, very special, something that's going to really resonate with her. Maybe take her to her favorite place or, you know, first date. I mean, if you can think back to your first date and reenact that first date, I think that would be so cool, so romantic, and really um, so thoughtful to go back to the very first date or maybe where you met her and maybe set out clothes that replicate that very first scene. I think that would be cool. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations already. I'm sure she'll say yes. And thank you for watching Milk Manor. Hi Edwin, this is Erica here at David Moss Volkswagen South. I'm just sending this video to say hi so you can put a face with a name. I'll be giving you a call in a little bit, so I look forward to speaking with you. Bye. Hello there Edwin, my name is Mackenzie. I'm one of the product advisors here at Kelowna Toyota, as you can see by this lovely Sienna van behind me. If you have any questions or concerns, I'd love to help. I understand that you're interested in the Santa Fe. Um, give me a shout, 250-491-2475, or you can get a hold of me via email. Nice to meet you, bye-bye for now. Derv donated $4.20, love you. Can you say hi to my hubby Edwin? Hi Edwin! Hi Edwin! So slow, yeah, hit the pole, yeah I ain't tryna cuff, yeah, I'm tryna fuck, yeah You ain't tryna fuck, yeah, pack your stuff, yeah, ayy I'ma throw this money like a free throw You just keep on dancing like a freak, ho Arch your back, put your hands on your knees, ho Bounce that ass to my motherfucking b ho Bounce that ass, bounce that ass the ground yeah make it bounce yeah make that clapping sound yeah right now yeah shawty you're so mean yeah twerk team yeah i'ma throw this green yeah on the scene yeah Dude, chat, bro. Hey, chat, can I be honest, bro? And, like, I don't know, streaming shit or whatever, man. I cannot wait to get fucked in my ass later tonight, dude.